everyone thank you so much for tuning back to urban tropical this is raj if you remember many 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 months ago i posted a video where i was planting alocasia macroriza and i did one in full sun one in full shade I wouldn't say full shade maybe 70 percent shade 30 percent sunlight and today i'm going to show you the update do we need full sun for alocasias specifically for macroriza and adora how do they cope with really good shade what's the growth rate like so look for yourself and uh, my daughter is just going to video me while i measure this so i mean if you come closer so this is my alocasia macroriza here and if i just go down the clump is really thick you can see it i can't even hold it that's how thick the clump is in terms of leaves the cool thing about alocasias are that they put one leaf on and one leaf dies so if your leaf is always dying and one's putting on there's nothing to panic that's how they grow and another one is coming right up there so it's still kind of growing and i know in a month or so i need to think about winter protection but let's see how well one has done compared to the other ones so in terms of height when i planted this one it was around 90 centimeter tall and currently it's in full sun and the height is 120 so in terms of overall height it has grown just over a foot and in terms of thickness it's really thick clump and it's looking really well so this is the one in almost a 70% shade and maybe 30% sunlight. So this is not a great location for alocasia. But the coolest thing is when you plant big foliage plants in a shade, leaves end up being much more bigger to make for lack of photosynthesis process. So I just measured earlier, I didn't actually capture in the video. So that biggest leaf is 60 centimeters tall. And I just did this one. This one is 6. 67 almost 70 centimeters tall so this leaf in shade is this much bigger than that leaf and they are identical plants same size same soil media the only difference is just the amount of sunlight they each get so it gets bigger leaves to make up for lack of sunlight in terms of total height if i just measure this one now in terms of total height this one is approximately 125 centimeter so slightly taller than the one grown in full sun now it comes down to how thick is the clump in terms of clump this one is actually not as thick as the other one but it's still quite solid so if i have to say it in nutshell actually so alocasias they can do well in full sun specifically macroriza and adora they don't get burned based on the experience i had even in 40 degrees celsius but if you don't have a full sun and you have got a part shade scenario so you can still grow them as a tropical plants they still do really well i mean look how healthy this leaf looks it's much more bigger the only difference is this one is a tiny bit slower in putting on growth than the other one by maybe 15 days so that one is about to put a new leaf on this one is almost i would say at least 10 days away for this leaf to be formed and unfurred so tiny bit slower but if you don't have a full sun you can always go for part shade and vice versa uh, in terms of winter protection i really need to think i was almost thinking of putting it in a pot and leaving it in a dry area but i haven't decided which method of overwintering i'm going to use it's going to be my very first time so i'm really excited but thank you so i really hope that this gives you an overview full sun versus part shade is there a difference and uh, i'm sure that it should be pretty clear from this uh, video but again the different countries different climates they all make a big difference so this one's based on the uk we don't have really long summers this year has been the exception but now it's coming to an end and thank you so much for tuning in bye bye